we've got about 45,000 records, I would say, right now, most of them being used. I mean, we probably have another five or 10,000 45s and another, I would say, about 7,000 CDs, along with hundreds of T-shirts. I've got cassette tapes. I've got books. I've got all the little, I've got record sleeves. We just started carrying guitar strings and accessories. Re really, if, if you don't see it in here and it's music related, tell me and I'll try to get it in here. There's there's no limit to what that could be. I, I really just need someone to come in regularly and be like, this is, I, I will buy this if you will provide this. That's all I'm, all I'm trying to do, man. I've, I've lived downtown for a few months now. When I first got down here, it really struck me as weird. No one had a pack of guitar strings to sell. You go in every corner and someone's got a guitar. Or, I mean, we're, we are a music city, but it, it took me about a month or two of looking at that and I just called Ernie Ball and hey man, how do I get guitar strings in here? This is crazy. We're, we're like a thriving downtown community. And there, there's some other things that need to be fixed. Guitar strings ain't exactly gonna make it, you know, make the whole downtown area. But one thing at a time, we're gonna try and get all the things any music fan could want. And that includes, you know, playing music, listening to music. I mean, we've got definitely turntables already, but we're trying to branch out into other types of stereo equipments and nice receivers and speakers and stuff like that. Uh, but you can ask anyone that's ever shopped with us. We're real quick. If you want it, we'll find a way of getting it. Whether or not, I mean, if, if I don't make music or if I don't make money on it, we'll get it into your hands some kind of way. I have stuff all the time. I'll special order from people from another record store and just basically show them the bill on it. We, we're just here trying to get music into people's hands.